It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. As everybody know, various dashes across the United States have been attacked by militant activists. And of course, this video is going to focus on one particular statue that I found to be interesting because it seems as though that these people who attacked this particular statue have no idea what they just touched. Of course, I'm talking about the famous author that is called Miguel Cavantes. Now, Miguel Cavantes is the guy behind the most famous novel in the world besides the Bible. And of course, that novel is called Don Quixote. Now, there's various Hispanic influences in the United States because it seems as though that a lot of people, when you ask them what are some influences in the United States, they pretty much do not have an idea about what's like the influences or the context or anything else. So, for this video, I'm going to explain the context and everything else to give you guys an idea of what they attacked and to also inform you guys about our history because American history. It's also Hispanic history and vice versa. As most people know, many states used to be part of Mexico, and before Mexico, they were part of Spain. Of course, I'm talking about the states of New Mexico, Nevada, California, Texas, Arizona, and of course, the United States territory of Puerto Rico, which used to be part of Spain, as well as Florida, which again, used to be part of Spain. And because like a lot of these states used to be part of Mexico and Spain, they also have Spanish influence on their seals, on their flags, and on their coat of arms. For Santa Fe, New Mexico, they have a reference to the United States flag, and they also have a reference to Castile and Leon. And in Spain, the flag for Castile and Leon looks like this. So basically they are referring to a Spanish community in that country. The state of Alabama has a double cross for their flag, as well as the state of Florida. The state of Montana has a reference to Spanish words which means gold and silver. The city of Los Angeles have a seal that also referenced Castile Leon. The states of New Mexico and Arizona also have references to Hispanic symbols. Also, when you really think about it, a lot of these names have a Hispanic influence. Of course, Los Angeles, Las Vegas, <laughs> Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, of course, like places like uh, San Antonio. All these places you see, and of course, Puerto Rico, have very much influenced by the Spanish language. And because a lot of these states were part of Mexico and part of Spain, it also left a linguistic history behind. Of course, most Americans, myself included, speak English as a first native language because English for the first 13 colonies was spread by the British people. However, before English was spread in the United States, a lot of the states spoke Spanish as their primary language. However, of course, things change over time, and of course, English is the most spoken language in our country. However, the second most spoken language in our country is Spanish, which about 12% of the population speaks Spanish, which equals to about 50 million people in the United States. Now, the population size for Spain is actually lower, so we have the second highest amount of Spanish speakers in our country, which number one is, of course, Mexico, our neighbor. Even though I'm explaining this history, what does it have to do with Don Quixote? Well, the answer for that is very simplistic. A lot of these protesters went out their way to destroy a statue that was part of the Confederacy and, of course, George Washington. However, they did not realize, of course, that the author of Don Quixote himself was also a former slave. He was a victim of slavery for five years before he actually started to write his book. So it seemed as though that when they started to attack Don Quixote's author, they had no idea that they were in fact attacking a person who was also a victim of slavery. Also, not many people actually know this, but Spain also played a big part in our independence. Of course, when we were fighting the British, we called for the French to help us. Also, the Spaniards during that time period also helped us out great time. So again, without the Spaniards, without the French, we wouldn't have our own personal independence right now.
When news first came out about this statue being attacked in Spain of all places, many Spaniards, of course, were frustrated about how many Americans do not know about their history. How could they possibly not know that the guy behind Don Quixote was also a slave? And of course, not many people in this country don't know about the Hispanic influence that we actually have from Spain, from Mexico, and these other kind of, you know, people that come to this country. So it seems as though that a people who actually, you know, do their homework and actually research about this stuff, they would not be as informed as they are right now. But what do you guys think? Tell me in the comment section down below. And I'll talk to you guys next time. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.